Minecraft. But every day, the difficulty gets harder. Life in peaceful mode is pretty good. You don't get hungry, no monsters spawn, and you regen very fast. But as the difficulty goes up, things get harder and harder. So for this challenge, after every single day, I will move up to the next difficulty. And once I finish hard mode, well, I move on to impossible, and then nightmare, and then finally cursed. I've banned myself from sleeping in this, and I've set myself three extra challenges. I must get full diamond armor, spawn two iron golems, and get a pet dog. Can I do all of this and defeat the ender dragon? Well, today, that's what we're going to find out. Also, I'm trying to hit 2 million subscribers this year, so if you could possibly get your grandma to subscribe, that would be great. And here we are in the world. It's quite nice being on Peaceful for a change. However, I need to act fast because very soon things are going to get much, much harder. One of the most important things I definitely need to do sooner rather than later is to try and find a village. Well, I suppose I could just use dandelions as food instead. That could actually be quite useful. I have found some sort of cave and yes, there is some iron here. I think my biggest thing is I 100% need to find the end portal before I get to cursed difficulty. So far, only one iron has been found. It's it's not going very well, nor is it going very well for this big. All these ones over here, but we're definitely going to need more food. Let's grab this iron here. It's only one again. What is going on? Now this is much more like it. We're doing pretty well in the iron department. I can make full iron tools. And before I go deeper into the caves, I'm going to grab a load more wood. And I just realized I can use these to get some mushrooms. The reason I'm so focused on this type of food is because when we get to the nightmare mode, you're not allowed to eat meat. I feel like 23 should be enough. Let's get another pig. And I found what I'm looking for, a brown mushroom. I had no idea that an axe absolutely destroys mushrooms. Did you guys know that? This is actually an OP strat. You want food? Just look at that speed. Give me all the mushrooms. You know what? This might be my new speedrunning strat. Just find these and do that. Oh, there goes my axe. <laughs> and it is now nighttime, which means when the sun rises again, we'll be moving up a difficulty to easy. And all my iron has finished smelting as well. I feel like a shield and a boat are pretty essential and probably a new axe. And this is now all finished smelting. One of the quests that I have to do is find full diamond armor. So that's what I'm going to begin searching for now. And this looks like a pretty good spot for it. Diamond hunting isn't going that well. So instead, it's time to do some strip mining. Right now on the F3 menu, you'll see it says day zero. Once that changes to day one, the difficulty will then get harder and we'll move on to easy mode. And in the meantime, we've got a bit of a cave here. It's actually a really, really good cave. Aha, we've found some diamonds. It better not just be one. It looks like it's only one. But be very careful about this lava underneath it as well. Yeah, it's only one. But you know what? It's a step in the right direction. We are now on the next day, which means the difficulty is now set to easy. You know, I was really enjoying just minding my own business. Now I've got to deal with mobs. Finally, more diamonds. Or should I say more diamond? I hope we get something good at this mob spawn. I've got to be a little bit careful. It is a skeleton one. Let's break that. Get rid of you. There's nothing useful, is there? Beautiful. Opens into a lovely cave with diamonds. And this time there's actually a decent amount. I can at least make a chest plate now. Oh, beautiful. Let's mine up all of these. Is it three? It looks like it's going to be oh, five, six. I'm going to craft a pickaxe first and some boots. And then more times. This has been a massive return to form in this cave. And there's a lot here as well. Now we'll make some leggings. And I just need four more diamonds. And I've got all the diamonds I need. Oh, beautiful. More. Di Come on, be all the diamonds we need. Yes, it is. In fact, we're going to have some spare as well. Perfect. Let's craft that helmet. Get rid of junk that we don't need. And make our way back up to the surface. Whilst I've got it, I'm also going to grab 10 obsidian just to be safe. Unfortunately, this is the part that takes forever and is very, very boring. Might as well have some iron smelting whilst I'm at it. And that is 10 obsidian. Let's pick up the water. Grab my furnaces. Grab a load more iron for later. I think digging out is going to be my best option. And it's currently night time. So once the sun comes up, that will be when we get to the next difficulty. And since sleeping would advance the time quicker, it would mean that I'd have less time to prepare for the harder difficulties, which is why I'm going to avoid sleeping at all costs. Looks like we've got a ruined portal up ahead. The gold is going to be very useful indeed. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to collect this loot. And the chest was hidden under here. Although, other than the flint and steel, it's not very useful. I found something else. I need pumpkins. I need two of them. And the next day is upon us, which means we're now on normal difficulty. But thankfully, there is a savannah biome over in the distance. Although now I've thought about it, I've changed my mind about finding a village. I've realized it made more sense for me to just shear sheep to get wool. Since I won't really have the space in my inventory to have loads of beds. Although, is that a village? Yeah, we have got a village. There'll be some useful stuff there. Like probably the hay bales. They're going to be quite useful. I suppose the extra iron will be useful as well as well as hay bales just in case i need extra food because i can't eat meat later in the run right next door is also a ruined portal i think we're going to use this to go to the nether here's my working portal right next to the ruined portal let's light that i'm going to check on my iron i do need all this to smelt and whilst i remember let's carve the pumpkin and i can do a quick bit of farming and use this bone meal to grow them and now i must just sit 
and watch them. I found some pumpkins in the distance, finally. I was losing the world to live waiting for those other ones to grow. This was all because for some reason I decided to make it a challenge to also spawn two iron golems in the run. Although they will be very useful for going against the blaze. When you find an enderman, you always take out an enderman. And don't get an enderpearl from it. Are you kidding me? There's three of them here. And from all the effort, I got two enderpearls. It's so much easier to trade with piglins. Let's just go for this guy without messing about. That's another pearl. At least that's kind of good. It is also the next day, so the difficulty has been upgraded to hard. And I just fell down a hole. I'm starting to get a little bit worried. I have one hour to get to the stronghold. I don't want to be looking for the stronghold on cursed difficulty. Right off the bat, we have got a pretty good nether. I reckon I can find a fortress fairly quickly. Thank goodness I have found a bastion. I need the fire resistance potions from the piglins. That's my main thing. And I really want to get in and out of here before impossible difficulty starts. Sorry, diamond, but you're getting thrown away. This has quite a bit of obsidian, which is going to be handy. I'm going to grab all this gold down here and start trading with them. Finally, I got the most important thing, fire resistance. I've finished. I've got all my pearls. I've got all my trades. I've got fire resistance. And I have a matter of seconds before impossible difficulty begins. And there we have it. Impossible is now upon us. I think if I get set on fire, it just never goes out in this. Yeah, the only way for it to go out... I don't know why I just did this. The only way to go out is to get in water or drink a fire resistance. That's the only thing that's going to save me, but it's still never going to stop burning. So I've literally got a ticker timing now. I've got nine minutes to either put out this fire or to find a fortress and get out of the nether. Oh, and all Endermen are angry at you as well. I forgot about that one. <laughs> get out of here, Enderman. In hindsight, that means this is a very bad biome to be in. Thankfully, find a fortress shouldn't take me too long because I can just pearl around. Although well, skeletons are very powerful now, I actually probably want to avoid... This is just horrible. I, I, What have I put myself into? First thing I want to do is make a cauldron and put out this fire because it's kind of driving me crazy. There we go. That's much better. It does mean I can't do that again, but I'm just going to wing it. Okay. If we get hit by a skeleton, we're done for. I found another bastion, which means we're in a totally useless place. That is the last news I wanted to hear. Let's just go down there. I forgot an impossible. Things have a random chance to break and my boots broke, which means a soul sand valley is hands down the worst place. I just want to find a fortress. This is horrible. Let's just pearl over there. I, don't, I think we'll be all right up here. Thankfully, pigmen are angry at you. Is that what I think it is? Thank goodness we have found a fortress. I've got to get a move on and get those blaze rods. I don't have to worry too much. By my estimations, I have about 10 minutes till nightmare mode begins. Here we go. I've got my golems ready though, so that is going to be a useful thing. There's the spawner up there. Let's hurry. I think the best strategy is to drink fire resistance first and then just fight these guys. I can... What are you doing all the way over there? But once I get set on fire, there's no going back. I also do want to set a bit of a roof and then I'm safe in here. Are you kidding me? I got punched and my chest plate broke now. This is very annoying. I've decided it's time to summon the golem. Let's put you right there. <laughs> These guys don't stand a chance. Let's put the other one up. There we go. All right, fellas, do your worst. I kind of want to watch this. Oh my goodness, do they just one-tap them? They do not stand a chance. I want to test some out. If I get set on fire with fire resistance, does it go on forever? No, apparently it doesn't. I, it's gone. Okay, that's pretty good to know. Bad news. These guys want the pigment. They're not interested in the blaze. Never mind. They've, they've woken up. I've got two minutes ten to get out of the nether because I am now on fire. I think it's going to be a smart idea to pre-build my portal. In fact, I might just have to leave now with seven rods. It's getting risky. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. Seven rods should be more than enough. And it is nighttime. I need water. There's ice down there. I, if a mob finds me, I'm going to be in big, big trouble. Let's just jump in this water. In fact, we can go back and get more. Don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. There we go. We've got extra blaze rods. Now we've definitely got enough. I don't know how much time is left of the night, but I'm, I'm just boxing myself in. And now Nightmare is here, which makes things even worse. Especially since a pigman came through the portal and he is trying to attack me. I hope he, he's right there. Let's just get out of here. Also, any large fall will break my leg and kill me. So I've got to be careful with that. Pigs also disappear and, and say they used to be a pig. Look at this guy over here. See you later. I also can't eat meat. Hence the reason I've got dandelion suspicious stew. Also, one of my quest was to get a pet wolf. So let's try... There we go. We got ourselves one. We've completed all the quests. Now we just need to get to the stronghold and beat the dragon. I also need to find the portal room before I get to curse mode. Otherwise, it's going to become way too difficult. Whoops. I, I forgot that I, I bounced you up. <laughs> Thankfully, I had a water bucket, but i got to be careful. I'm in a really bad biome for this. Across big things like this, I've kind of got to place blocks to safely get across. Apparently, I'm boiling in my armor. Does that mean I have to take it off? What on earth is this game? But thankfully, we are an ocean. Hopefully, it's an ocean exposed portal room. It's over that way. It is now nighttime. More than ever, I need this to be in the ocean. It's not looking good. It is not looking good in any way, shape, or form. Which way is it? Wait, no, it is above the ocean somewhere. Maybe, just maybe, I've got lucky and it's in the mushroom biome. Oh my goodness, I think it might be. You see, the thing about mushroom biomes is that mobs cannot spawn in them, and that includes the stronghold. So if I'm exploring the stronghold in this biome, I'm going to be completely safe. I think it's pointing over here. Yeah, it's right here that we need to dig down. This is the chunk for it anyway, but because you drown so fast underwater, I'm 
going to dig down in this spot and then dig along and get to the correct part of the chunk. This spot here is pretty good. Okay, <laughs> very, very good. And now I've got about five minutes to find the portal room before cursed mode begins. Is there any mobs here? I don't see any. I hear a skeleton through here. I don't like the sound. What's on it? Where did all you go? I didn't forgot about Silverfish being ridiculously crazy in this. And I hear the portal room. I think we're there. We are there. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's let's just let's not panic. I've run out of blocks. Come on, Esme. What's going on here? Just, just pile up in the corner. I'm then going to attempt to get over here and break the spawner like that. Perfect. Let's block up this. And then with this lava, we can get rid of the rest of the silverfish. There we go. Job done. Let's put all of the eyes into the portal frame. There we go. Right now, I'm taking my time preparing all my items. And the difficulty has now become cursed. I know that because I've got blindness. I've got everything ready. It's just me versus the Ender Dragon. Let's go for it. Where are we at? Okay, we've got an exposed one right off the bat. We've not got blindness down here. So straight away, Endermen are going to be angry at me. So I kind of need to just get a move on here. I've not got any armor. I kind of want to just keep away from them if I can. Here we go. Now they're all after me. They're very, very angry indeed. Let's just carry on over here. I am going to be one cycling the dragon. That is the plan. But it's not quite as simple as it normally is. Although if I just go over here, I can start building up turned on hitboxes so that I can properly see the dragon as well. I'm very worried, but I think he might be perching, which is going to be really, really annoying for me because... Oh no, he's not perching. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Before I do anything else, I want to get to Y about 110. One, two, three. There we go. We are there now. If I go above to 120, I will float away. So I'm just at this height, so I've got a little bit to jump up if he fireballs me like that. See, we just jump, place it, and we're completely safe now. Another good thing about going so high is all the Endermen have despawned, so when I enderpearl to the middle, there'll be no Enderman near enough to attack me. And because I'm doing east-west strats, he will perch opposite me when he eventually does perch, but it, it could be a while. I think this is it. I think he's about to perch. Yep, there we go. He's, he's, let's do this, okay. I took a lot of fall damage already. Which side is he on? He's on this side, so let's just place some blocks there. And put this like that. Okay. Here we go. One cycle, baby. I'm on the wrong side. It doesn't matter. I can do this. I messed it up big time. But I've done it. There we go. The Ender Dragon on curse mode. Normally the port will disappear, but if you stand here, it will teleport you in. Just like so. It teleports me before it can disappear. And there we go. We beat Minecraft as the difficulty progressively gets harder.